Hey game devs, welcome back! This tutorial is part of the series how to become a game developer. Currently I show you how to create game assets like a 3D character. Last time we started modeling the head. If you missed that, click on the link in the note up here or in the description. Today we start modeling the arms and the legs of our 3D character and combine it with the torso mesh. I will show you everything step by step. So let's start. 1. Hand and arm. In my opinion, it's better to create a new mesh and start with the palm of the hand than extruding the shoulder part of my torso. As well, it is necessary if you want to model every finger or combine the finger mesh like the good old 3D models. I start with a cube and bring it into position so that I can add further edges. All that necessary shortcuts are explained in my last modeling tutorials. For sure, the hand of this little guy is very clumsy. It's very fat and plump. This character should get only 4 fingers. I want to start with the pinky, second the middle finger, then the forefinger and last the thumb. It is totally okay for my low resolution mesh that the fingers are just squares. For each finger I extrude the face 3 times, so that I can add later proper bones for the rig. The thumb is a little bit more difficult than the other fingers. Try to rotate the surface. Look at your own hand as reference. Where would be the fingernail? Ok, let's keep this as our model for now. Prepare the geometry around the brachial joint. From there you can extrude the edge ring and bring it to the place where your elbow should be. More detail will be added later. Extrude again and shape your upper arm. We need to find now a nice transition to the shoulder and the breast. I prepare the geometry and the edge loop so that there is a nice gap between the shoulder and your edge ring. Extrude single edges and snap the vertices to your shoulder geometry. Time to bring the geometry and the loops together. We have way more than only 6 vertices, which form our shoulder. Somehow we need to end unnecessary edge loops and find again a nice flow from the torso geometry to the arm. When the two meshes are merged, we are able to adjust again our vertices 
add further details and tidy up our mesh till we are happy with the result. I will skip to the readjustment process now. Basically we finish the hand and the arm. Let's go to the next step. 2. Foot and leg. I will start here again with the new mesh, modify this and combine it with the torso in the end. This time I will not start with a cube or a box mesh for the foot. At first I want to create the bottom of the foot with a plane. So I place one and bring it to a proper size. Care about face normals, because the game engine mostly draw only one side of your geometry. It is very unperformant if the engine need to render two sides of every face. There are some ways to bring the face normals to the bottom side. For sure you can rotate the plane on the x-axis to 180 degrees, but there is as well another technique you may need in other situations as well. Go to edit mode, select the face, press W to get the special tab and select flip normals. Well, just a little side info. When the face normal is leading to the ground, we switch to bottom view with Control 1 on the number pad and autographic view. Bring your plane into a correct size. Now add loops. One vertical and two horizontal. Replace the outer vertices so you get the form of a foot. If you don't know how this looks like, search for references in your browser. Once this is done, Select the outer vertices again and extrude them into the set axis so we get some volume to the field. Before I continue and extrude those edges again, it is important for me to know where I want to go with the geometry. For this I unhide my leg cylinder which I created in my first modeling tutorial. This cylinder has 8 vertices for a loop. I need to merge this geometry with my foot geometry in a nice way. It is easier to merge those two objects when I bring the geometry to the joint of the lower leg. Now we can start to extrude the edges from the lower leg and snap them to my foot geometry. Time to close all the open holes. We are close to merge the leg mesh with my torso mesh. Before I do this, I add further geometry to the upper leg. Again, I extrude the edges and snap them to the torso mesh. Then I merge the meshes. For sure the butt is as well very important. The following process is speed up because it just adds further details and tidy up my geometry. At least I added some props for the character. 
to break up his silhouette a little bit and give him more personality. Congratulations, we did it! Next time we are creating the UV layout of this character. This is necessary to cover the mesh with a hand painted texture. I hope I don't forget any information. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below. If you like this little tutorial, please give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for further tutorials. We love the creating tutorials, but we need as well some support. Become our patron and help us to help you. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you again. Cheers.